I'm Chris Warner, I'm a captain with Fairfax County Fire Department. Uh, joined the department in 2005, being an EMS supervisor for the last two years. Uh, EMS supervisors are tasked with going on some of the higher acuity calls and providing a different perspective for those calls, bringing a couple different skill sets and attempting to liaison on some of the more challenging, challenging calls. So we'll give you a brief overview of the EMS vehicle. We'll start right here in the rear compartment. The, um, some of the equipment mimics what our fire engines, trucks, and rescues carry in addition to some of the things that the, the transport units, the ambulance and the medics carry. So it's our Zoll monitor used for most of our vitals. Blood pressure, heart rate, pulse ox, EKGs, um, and treatment aspects. So this usually comes in on all calls. This is our Lucas device, so it's assist with CPR. Manual CPR is uh, our go-to for, for starting things, but this really kicks in maybe the first five to 10 minutes after that to help from a mechanical purpose to provide high quality CPR and allow us to move patients a little, little more easily. If we gotta navigate difficult terrain or, or steps. So slide around to the back. Um, much like everyone else in the county, cross trains, firefighters and EMTs slash paramedics. So all transport units come with suppression PPE and air pack, so I'm no different. Um, I got my full set of PPE for suppression calls, my air pack, um, just like all the other, other units in the county. Slide around to the last one. Additional complement of some of the EMS equipment that we carry, um, our oxygen uh, and all of our oxygen supplies, so non rebreathers, bag valve masks to help with ventilations and breathing for the patients. Um, this bag cover carries a lot of our pediatric equipment and intubation equipment for difficult airways and then a suction unit. All right, so yeah, so we'll move into the inside, just do a brief overview from the inside. So here in the center console, it's our uh, MCT. It's where we receive all of the dispatch information. So generally, 911 call comes in, they ask a series of questions, they dispatch the appropriate unit. So when I am dispatched, this is where I'll go to get general information such as number of patients, type of incident, and address. Um, once we move past that, They'll assign radio channels so that we can listen to each of the incidents. This unit is set up much like the battalion chief's vehicles who are usually in command of, of things. The vehicles are similar. The uh, three separate radios, so it provides a dispatch channel, a tactical channel, and then we're also able to monitor PD channels. So when we run mutual aid calls with our police partners, we can have an idea of what's going on and be able to communicate if need be. So yeah. Standard pickup truck with additional, a couple additional bells and whistles. Um, lighting package for those that uh, see the red lights coming down the road. Control console here so we can work with the, the lights and control the siren. Um, the rest of it operates like a regular pickup truck. In the back, because as a secondary role, in addition to being the supervisor for some of the transport units in the area, we also have the ability to operate as command aids as needed, which means that on structure fires, or certain car accidents and things like that. The battalion chiefs will show up. They'll usually be in charge of the incident, but sometimes they'll need an assistant or an aide, and we'll, we're able to fill that role if need be. Um, so we have command boards similar to the battalion chiefs so that we can help track resources and make notifications. We also have a separate supply stash of commonly used items that break and or get lost on the transport unit. So it's a 24 hour service. So this allows us to supplement the great job that logistics does by being able to provide some of the, provide some of the equipment that may go missing in the middle of the night, lost and or broken. So we have some of those supplies. So just some of the things that I'll consider on the way back from a call. How well we did, is there something that we could do better in the future? Um, our crews do a fairly good job of taking care of people and treating everyone very nicely. Sometimes there are little things that we could do just to give the a better patient care experience. So on calls, I'll come back. I'll try to reflect on some of those. 
chat with uh, chat with the crews later to see if there's anything that they thought that we could be doing better, and um, just try to close the gap maybe on a training aspects, provide the highest experience for those that are having rough days as far as some of these calls go.